all right hello guys welcome to autodex empire where we make video training support on daily basis in this tutorial i'll be teaching you guys on how to create a downpour pipe for a residential or commercial building all right let's go there you have an existing architectural design and i'm going to launch my application Cool. Now, one thing you must understand is that uh, we have uh, two two ways in which we can create a downpour. For this video class, I'm going to be creating the downpour using one method. Do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, likes and subscribe. So when I release a new video, you'll be notified. Meanwhile. I'll be demonstrating the other way on how you can create this pipe in another video entirely. So just ensure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you can have more. Yeah, it's a downpour that I've created. I'm going to delete it off. Select this. And that will hit the delete key. Correct. Now I have an existing architectural building. Let me go to the 3D. Good. So now we have a building like this, and this building now has uh, the roof. Right on the roof, you can see that uh, I have created what I call a gutter. Yeah, I have a video that explains uh, many ways on how you can create most of all these things. Now this is the gutter, so we now need a pipe that can drain the water straight down, probably here or somewhere around here. So it depends. It's a choice. So. Now, I'm going to put in my damper somewhere around here. So, how to do that is very simple. So, I'll go to the front view here. Then, I want to have the damper somewhere around here. So, what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to... You can see that I didn't complete the creation of my gutter. So, you can watch other of my video calls to understand more about that. I can change this gutter to another profile. I have that in other various courses. Just subscribe to my channel. You can get more of this video course. So now let's go to architecture. Then straight down to components. Now from here, I can go to model in place. When you select model in place, you scroll down. Then you pick one of this uh, category, family category. Let me use a custom category, which is a generic model. Select that and click OK. And then I can put something here, call it downpour. pipe all right correct so i'll click ok now i'm going to change my interface to some kind of a uh, uh, model in place uh, creation tools so yeah i need the the sweep when i select the sweep i'm going to create the pipe in doing so i can say sketch path and I'll have access to creation tools here. Before I do that, you'll see that I cannot sketch my patch in this phase. I have to go to the front view and I'll start sketching my patch. One thing you must understand is that if I should change away from the perfect front view, you realize that my cursor is showing a, a cross that tells it is ready for the creation to start. But if I should perfect my view to front, you'll see that I have a kind of stop sign telling me that you can't draw because the work plane is at a very sharp angle so i need to deal with work plane first yeah so i will hold down the shift key then orbit this first then i'll come to set work plane here and i'll say i want to pick a plane and i'll say okay among all these i'll pick a plane yeah this is the plane that i want the front view plane yeah correct so i'll select that now if i perfect my view back now I'll be able to create my downpour pipe because I've specified on the set work plane for me to have access to do something like this. So now I'll scroll up to the point. Then I can come here or pick from this junction right here. I'll move out. Correct. And I'll come here. I can go in, then I can push that out later if that is too much. But you can see that here, 
have something I can uh, always uh, drop this and I'll go straight down now if I need the water to drop right here and I will, will have uh, some kind of uh, uh, water uh, extractor somewhere here that's our that's thing so you can have that or if I want to just always flush out I can just drop this and I'll come out like this and I'll click I want 50 correct I'll press the escape key having done that before I proceed I'll come to what I call fillet arc and I'll fillet this because a pipe cannot be at that sharp angle so I'll see maybe angle 45 sorry let me just go back here click drop then change click inside and change to 45 cool i'll go up as well we can have a sharp angle as well and we can have something like an elbow more like a something uh so i'll have this correct to 70 correct and i'll come here as well select this this and i'll go again and i'll make it to 70 as well correct now as you can see that is too much let's undo that um select this this so 120 correct now I have created a patch where I can have my pipe. So I will orbit now. Or I can just go to the top view. If that's the way I wanted it. So I'll come up here. Then I'll come to I'll click OK first. Because I've completed my path. Good. Then I now need a profile. So I'll go to load profile. It will create, it will show me the creation procedure. So I'll come to circle. And I can stay at a circle here yeah, and I'll drag out. You know, this is already in mm, so I'll, I can't have more than 100 mm. 100 mm pipe is even too much. Okay, 100 mm pipe is a uh, 4 inches pipe, which is the normal stuff. Some, in some cases, they are just 50, uh, 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 50 which is uh, 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 2 inches pipe. So let me stay at 100. That's okay. Then I'll click on finish. That's correct. So if I go back to this 3D view here. Yeah, you realize that I have my I have my path and I have my profile. So I have my path and my profile. The only thing I need to do now is for me to just uh, say finish. I say can't sweep that. And probably let's cancel that. Now I'm having can't sweep that because uh, moment please. Hello. All right, so we'll continue. Sorry, I had to attend to a call. So now, yeah, I'm going to... Now, the reasons why when I say to finish is telling me that can't create sweep is because um, there is a problem probably with my... with some of these bend points. I believe so. Apart from that, probably the problem is from some of these. Because one thing is if I select this and I say the edit profile, and if I just select and reduce it to something like 50, which is about 2 inches pipe, and say finish, I believe it's going to create this. You can see that it's trying to create this now. Despite that they still tell me it can't create, it's trying to create that. So the problem is coming from some of the elbow points. Let's say cancel that. And then I select it again. And I said edit profile. And I take it down to something like 25, one inches pipe. And I said finish. And I said finish again. And I can see this is completed. So I'm trying to use this to show us that look, this can be created. The other problem is that uh, the our points, yes, our L points and other things are where the problem is coming from. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to perfect my view here. Yeah and then i can go to wireframe 
So we'll do this in the case you have the same problems next time. Let's say edit. I'll select this. We can say sketch again. And I will look at some of those points. Sorry, I perfect that. We'll look at some of those points. Like most cases here, we can increase this to probably 90. Correct. And I'll take this out further. Good. So these are where we are. These are where, these are where I believe we will be having some of our problem. So that's okay. We we'll look at this. I don't think uh, we should have much problem somewhere here. But I suspect the base first. So I'll say finish. Then if I come here, let me take this to fifty first. I said finish and I said finish again. Now you can see that was created with 50, which is two inches pipe, but I don't need two inches pipe. So I'll select it back again and I'll go back to edit sweep, then select the profile, edit profile. Let me use 75. So I will know where the creation problem is coming from. So you can see 75 is fine. This is three inches pipe. We can stick with three inches pipe. But if you finally edit it to a four inches pipe, let's go back to seven one hundred, which is a four inches pipe. Set finish, finish. So that is cool. So you can see that the problem was originally from this point. So, but I'll stick with three inches pipe, even if this is okay. So I'll come back here, edit profile select the profile and I'll go back to 75 click OK then click OK again so that's OK I can add material to this downpour if I so wish so I'll say finish and my downpour is completed correct if I go to the front view you can see here is my downpour let's go back to the site layout here and then you can see this is it so select select it and then say move now when you try to move it it's not going to move even though you remove constraint it's not going to move what we are going to do is we are going to copy it so if i select it here i will remove constraint and i'll copy it to the front somewhere here. now the copied object now would move so i will come to the original one i will right click and i will delete it select this good now this can move can rotate and other stuff like that so let me select go there and then just rotate it and go 45 that's okay then i can always come just use my up and down arrow key correct right so here we go you can see this here so all right so So this is going to work for a two inches pipe so feel free to to use a two inches pipe so that i can go right inside the air and you can see now it's not touching the back so another development you can always push it back so let's just come here go to this and you can see what we have here so now you can see right here it's coming from here and it's not it's not long enough so we can reselect that go to edit in place okay um let's finish this Go to this 3d and then come here select it edit in place and then i will then select it back again edit sweep then i would ensure that i select it again sketch so now i can select this and push it up a bit probably to just 110 that's okay set finish finish that's okay set finish and then come here you can see that uh, coming we've pushed it up a bit oh it's it needs to go further so sketch uh, let's get to somewhere here. it's finished okay said finished it's coming so you can see now so it has exceeded so you take it down 
but at the same times it needs to because this gutter profile go to edit you can see that uh, the kind of gutter profile we are using is 125 by 125 let me select this apply so you can see the gutter profile is now bigger so we can just push it backward a bit so we can have so the problem is coming from this uh, select select this correct so when you come here you see that is inside now and here we go that is that about that and right down here let's go back to our come here and then, then there's a shaded mode so this we can take it down a bit it's up edit select that edit sweep select the sweep profile sketch then come here and then just bring it somewhere here good so we'll be saying that let's come back here correct so you can see that's a finish so you can see that we won't be seeing that right there and then you can see that it's not also showing here so this is cool this is fantastic so that is that about that always forget to hit that thumbnail subscribe likes our channel so that you can get more videos like this on daily basis and then you can just create your now right here so yeah there can be a channel where water will just be coming us so thanks for watching this video and i'll catch up with you in my next video tomorrow thank you hit the subscribe button like and share Thank you for watching the video course and I'll catch up with you later. Thank you.